Welcome to the prototype design reveal of the symbiotic urban movement. Some envisions a future where humans help to rebuild the sense of community that now seems lost, and where humans help to restore the connection with nature again. We believe in the collective power of individuals. We are the symbiotic urban movement. Some represents Delft University of Technology at the Solar Decathlon Competition Europe in 2021. And here at Delft, we feel a deep responsibility to create a better society, to develop technology-driven, innovative solutions for the societal challenges we are facing today. Some will tackle the alarming state of post-war neighborhoods by focusing on tenement flats constructed between 1945 and 1972. In the Netherlands, there are 847,000 tenement flats, which represent 11% of the total housing stock. We want to create a generic solution which can be applied to all tenement flats. As a case study, we chose the neighborhood of the Dreef in The Hague, where we are working together with an housing association to be in direct contact with our residents. During this design review, we will first provide you with a short recap of our building design. From there, we will take you on a journey through our prototype design. How do we apply our vision to the site of the Dreef? Well, at the neighborhood level, the ground floor of the tenement flats will be transformed into the following functions. A communal space, workshops and stores. The car will disappear from the streetscape, creating more space for greenery in the neighborhood. Playgrounds for children, meeting places and allotment gardens. As a result, the neighborhood will be more community orientated, as the design encourages the formation of relationships. Symbiosis is seen through six main aspects of our design. The activation of the ground floor through new public functions, better accessibility through a circulation core with an elevator, the addition of a gallery to connect the residents, a renovation of the existing units to improve the layout and the living comfort, the addition of a modular top-up to add sustainable density to the city, and an energy performing envelope to cap our design. These interventions allow us to design for the existing social environment. The design stimulates and fosters the existing social community and will establish symbiotic relationships between the local environment, the current and new residents. By doing so, we aim to create both social and energy positive buildings. The ground floor, circulation core and the top up will be captured and built as part of our one-on-one -on -one prototype. You may be thinking, why are we building the prototype? Annemiek will tell you more about it. SUM is a student-led team from the Delft University of Technology that is competing in the Solar Decathlon Europe 2021, a worldwide competition for university teams. The Solar Decathlon is a competition based on 10 contests which range from construction and engineering to affordability and viability, but also innovation and communication, education and social awareness. The aim of the competition is to develop innovative solutions to address the technical, architectural and social challenges that the cities of today are facing. More and more people are living in urban areas, which means that the demands for living spaces and resources are increasing. That is why the focus of the competition is to find a solution to modernize the existing building stock as well as designing the urban surroundings. The competition consists of two parts, the theoretical design and the practical prototype. For the theoretical part of the competition, we have chosen a case study in The Hague to renovate and transform a building based on our principles. For the competition itself, which will take place in Wuppertal, Germany, May, June 2022, we are required to build a one-to-one -one representation of our building design, which will be our prototype. This prototype puts some ideas for sustainable architecture on a smaller scale into practice. But what will our prototype look like? Anam will tell you more about it. As a symbiotic urban movement, we have developed a prototype that shows both our architectural design and a selection of our urban innovations. The prototype will be fully accessible to all the visitors via two decks, and these would try to simulate the actual local site conditions 
of our case study neighborhood in The Hague. On one side of the prototype, you will experience a new street rede redevelopment that would show how we could transform a traditional Dutch street into a more lively, shared and safe space for both cyclists and pedestrians. With well-defined meeting points and public functions at the ground floor, this deck and living street will serve as a main entrance to our prototype. The second deck will simulate the courtyard side of the case study building in The Hague. Here you will immerse yourself in Mother Nature with your friends, family and neighbours. Situated in the southern side of the prototype, the courtyard deck will allow ample recreation space for you to sit back, relax and take in all that the prototype has to offer. The courtyard deck will be furnished with our own urban modular elements. These would function as seating, planters, bicycle storages and much more. This would be made accessible for the residents to assemble themselves and take ownership of what would be otherwise a collective courtyard of the case study building. All in all, the prototype site would be a sensory and an engaging environment and we hope to welcome you soon. The structure of our prototype follows our core values of modularity and prefabrication using either recycle or bio-based materials. For the wooden structure of the ground floor, we are using 2D LVL prefabricated elements, while for the top-up, we decided to use 3D elements. We are using laminated vinyl lumber since it can achieve high strength while at the same time being lightweight. Aside of this, the circulation core is made out of a structural facade using steel profiles. In general, the prototype is an hybrid structure, which is lightweight and environmentally friendly. Thanks to the dry connection, the building will be easy to assemble and disassemble, allowing us to build the prototype in only two weeks. The envelope design of the prototype is made out of three parts, which represents the different layers of time. The ground floor of the prototype stands for the tenement flat. In order to respect the building's identity, key characteristics such as the windows openings and the warm appearance of the brick facade are kept. In front of the existing envelope, we are placing a bio-based modular secondary facade. This secondary facade is made out of a newly developed composite material, which is lightweight and highly insulative, since it comes from a waste material that is not only recycled, but is actually upcycled. By doing this, the envelope is respecting the heritage, while at the same time, it's preparing the building for the generation to come. Accessibility and inclusivity are core values of our symbiotic vision, and thanks to the addition of a circulation core and a gallery, the building and the prototype will be fully accessible for all the residents and visitors. Through urban mining, both the gallery and the circulation core will be assembled using steel profiles that are recovered from other buildings. The circulation core, with its transparent building-integrated PV panels, is not only creating an energy-producing vertical connection between the old and the new flats, but it will also provide vibrant symbiotic spaces where the residents can meet, work and socialize. The top-up modules are the energy producers of the building, and this is displayed in the facade and in the roof. The square-shaped building integrated PV panels are enhancing the top-up modularity. They are using a new technology, allowing them to be produced in multiple colors. By using them, we can design a suitable facade aesthetic for all the different post-war urban contexts. This aesthetic is continuous also in the northern facade by using ceramic tiles of the same color and range in order to create a cohesive appearance for the top-up modules. Another important factor that we consider is the weight due to the restriction of the existing building. The timber facade structure is hosting a bio-based insulation made out of paper pulp, achieving a lightweight and carbon neutral facade that meets the passive house standards. The interior vision follows our core values of modularity, customizability and inclusivity. The ground floor of the building design restores with respect to the heritage, its original function as public and commercial plinth. 
In the prototype, it houses a community workshop that will promote social interaction through making and craft, as well as an additional social space, which can transform into a community cafe. Both zones are connected by a timber pack wall system, which acts as a tool library, a second hand shop, furniture storage, and a notice board for the neighborhood. During our time in the Haken Wuppertal, this will definitely be the place to be. The circulation core will provide a north to south connection, as well as a vertical connection with an elevator and a staircase. The core interior design is organized within one furniture piece, which forms the staircase up to the first floor. This element houses functions such as mailboxes, a laundry and a drying machine, waste management, a bicycle repair station and a book sharing library. In the top-up housing unit, the modularity of the structure is also reflected in the interior layout. The unit consists of two modules. One smart module with all the necessary appliances and built-in furniture, and one much more open and flexible modules, which residents can really make their own. Our movable feature wall is made of various furniture modules with different functions, which can be customized, demounted and reused. This is following the product as a service principle. This feature wall system allows for a maximized functionality of a space in different living scenarios such as sleeping, working or entertaining. The openings in the facade create an interaction between inside and outside up to the point where the living space can basically extend onto the gallery. These same windows also provide the unit with plenty of natural light. The use of color customizable LEDs provides the possibility to change the atmosphere depending on the situation, while also maintaining a low energy consumption. This is perfect for all the different living scenarios that we envision in the housing unit. Now Arne will tell you more about all the systems that create a comfortable atmosphere in the SUM prototype. The prototype includes a wide range of innovative climate systems in order to create a comfortable indoor environment. These systems follow our concept of symbiosis, in which the different elements create mutual beneficial relationships with each other. Our modular systems room is placed inside the circulation core and will become the beating heart of our prototype. These climate systems are designed according to the reduce, reuse and produce strategy. We start with reducing the energy demand by insulating our prototype in order to achieve the passive house standard. Then we reuse as much energy as possible with our ventilation and plumbing system. As a last step, we produce the rest of the required energy in a sustainable way with the sun as an energy source. During the summers, we use passive methods to cool down our prototype. Firstly, we keep out most of the solar heat with our smart integrated shading system. Next to this, we use the cooling effect of plants in order to reduce the inside temperature. As a last measurement, we use nighttime cross ventilation in order to cool down a prototype during the nights. In the cold winter months, we fully utilize the solar heat gains and the internal heat generated by people and appliances. This heat is contained inside a prototype with our thick layer of insulation. Next to this, we rely on our very efficient ventilation system with heat recovery to keep the prototype at a comfortable temperature. The top-up apartment functions as an energy producer for the whole prototype. The PV panels on the roof and the building integrated PV panels on the facade produce the electricity. Hot water is produced by an air-to-water heat pump, which uses the hot air from our innovative but low-tech solar chimney in the circulation core. In order to reduce the amount of fresh water our prototype needs, we reuse the rainwater and the grey water. 
The grey water, which is water from your sinks and from your showers, is filtered using a halophyte plant filter on our site. This filtered grey water and the rainwater are used to irrigate the plants. These plants play a key role in increasing the biodiversity and reducing the urban heat island effect. Next to this, they help to cool down our prototype during the summer. In this way, we create a symbiotic living environment for all. Next to our building interventions, we are also developing a digital living platform that complements our design and encourages sustainable habits amongst the residents. Some examples of these sustainable habits are the sharing and repairing of second-hand products, growing and cooking of local plant-based food, and helping each other out when needed. Inside of the home, the platform will give every resident a comprehensive understanding of their household's monthly energy consumption and waste production. Along with this, the platform also helps residents from different cultural backgrounds to connect and learn more of these sustainable habits together, creating social sustainability through symbiotic relations. This is what our prototype will look like. A unit consisting of two stories which brings our vision to life. In the summer of 2021, we will start the construction of our prototype. And once finished, you will be able to visit it in The Hague. Afterwards, we will disassemble our prototype to be taken to the Solar Decathlon Europe competition in Wuppertal. There, we will reassemble it and it will be tested. Thank you for watching our prototype design reveal. We hope you have enjoyed it. If you have questions, we have a Q&A prepared for you. Please follow the link in the description below.